Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer, and today it's more of a sincere video, a much more sincere video towards a friend of mine named Kartik, who lives in India. I haven't heard him and heard about him since last month, I believe. It's been a month, and I'm getting a bit worried about him. But um, allow me to explain his backstory. He's a uh, gay Indian. He lives in India, of course. Um, he recently found out about two years ago that he's gay and that he has to live under this strict rule. I mean, he has to live in this strict life. You know, India is completely homophobic. It's, you know, as soon as you're... Found, if they found out that you're gay, they'll start making death threats. These people will start throwing rocks at you. You know, he has to hide his sexual orientation by, you know, relying on one of his female friends to pretend that there, there's, there's this girlfriend. So, you know, just to prevent the bullying to stop. They were in complete support of Kartik. And I'm proud. I'm proud that Kartik has some female friends and it was amazing that there are still people out there that are willing to help gay folks and that's amazing <laughs> bravo Kartik you're, you're a true hero you know you're you're better than all these fucking feminists on YouTube better than all them you have more balls than these feminists especially the male feminists but, you know, it's nearing Christmas. You know, I believe... I believe today's the 15th or the 16th. Yes, today's the 16th. That's nine days away. Uh, well, by the time I upload this video, it might be eight or seven days away. But the point is, is that I'm wishing Kartik... Merry Christmas. Um, I know I'm not. I'm an atheist. And that's fine. Because to me, Christmas is just another holiday. It's nothing too special. You know, you receive a present. And that's it. It's just a... After that, after opening your present, there's nothing more. It's just a regular holiday. <laughs> I consider Halloween better a uh, you know, better holiday than, than Christmas because you get candy, you know. It, it, it starts late. Um, Christmas, it's... Once you open your presents and you play with your toy, it only lasts about an hour, maybe, at most. And then you do some stupid holiday shopping and then that's it. So, Christmas to me is just another holiday, normal holiday. Gotta and you know um, how I find Kartik was a strange encounter you know uh, originally I went to a gay website now you're probably thinking that I'm probably gay because I went to this gay website however I went there to interview a few gay people and, you know, it was about how um, there were certain YouTubers who who keep repeating the exact same um, arguments against homosexuality, which is, um, you know, how being gay is a sin, how homosexuality is unnatural. You know, and some of these people have made such wonderful responses. You know, it's incredible. And I really do enjoy some of the things they have said. And Kartik, well, we managed to talk on Skype and, you know, we became really good friends. And I do wish him everything. I wish him the best. And it's not just Kartik, you know. I'm wishing everyone. In India, who is gay, a better life. Because 
no one, no one should be forced to live under such cruel lifestyles just because of some cultural aspect. You know, why try to reach an expectation of some deity? When this deity may or may not exist, we have the technology to go further than simply just looking just inside the box. We need to start thinking outside the box. Why do we need to fear this God? This, if this God really has an issue with homosexuality, then perhaps God should do something about it. But it doesn't seem like God has an issue with homosexuality. Either that or he doesn't exist. Or maybe maybe God's too busy on some other planet that's far more superior than us. As as, as a human race, we're far we're far inferior towards other planets. Kartik and Gays in India and, and transsexuals, not to mention transsexuals. Uh, the transsexuals, according to Kartik, have it a lot worse. Um, I, I'm not necessarily sure how exactly, but according to Kartik, it's a lot worse. And uh, let's see. I'm thinking. Oh uh, yeah. If, if um you know if, I I I wish that Kartik and I were to meet in New York to help Kartik live a better life. You know, he, because in New York you you're you could be as openly gay as, as you want. You know, um you can be wearing a rainbow colored jacket and you know people would thumbs you up for being who you are it's it's part of human nature i wish Cartier could live here in new york it's because we're we're already accepting of homosexuality and every nation should i doubt that texas is going to ever change their minds doubt it But, you know, I do hope that pretty much every state and just around the world becomes more accepting towards homosexuals and transsexuals. So that way they don't have to hide in fear. Um, these feminists have done nothing to help the gays in India. They, they failed failed greatly. I'm doing more work to help the gays in India than they ever could. Okay, I'm trying to send more support towards Kartik. So Kartik, my friend, if you're watching this video, you know, I wish that we can chat on Skype again. You're, you're an amazing friend and um, I wish see you soon you know either on Skype or even better in person and if me supporting gay rights if me trying to help a guy in India with more support makes me gay then I'd rather be gay than to be a total moron a total bigot someone that's completely blinded by the fact that there are people out there who have it far worse than I have I'm living under a roof, a roof right now. I'm grateful enough that I have a laptop, a pair of headphones, a f fucking phone, a t flat screen TV, over, over thousands of movies. I literally have thousands of movies in here. If you don't believe me, I can show you around someday. I literally have over a thousand DVDs. Well, maybe not a thousand DVDs, but like in total, in total with VHS and DVDs, at least a thousand. 
it's remarkable. So, Kartik, I just keep living on, you know. I hope that your parents get you a new phone for this Christmas so that way you can start texting me. <laughs> okay. So, that's all I have to say for now. Um, Merry Early Christmas. You know, some of you are probably asking about the painting in the background, The Last Supper. Um, let me just tell you this. I don't give a flying fuck about art, okay? It's art. Like, it doesn't matter if it belongs to me or my father. I'm... If it's art and it's good, then I won't judge it. I, I, I won't say that it's hateful, it's, it's, it's stupid. I'm not anti-Christian entirely. I'm just not, you know, I just don't believe in God, okay? So, if you've got an issue with my painting or my father's painting, whatever, then don't fucking watch my videos, okay? You got an issue with, if you have to be critical about everything in my life, regard, you know, what I wear, um, what's in the background, what's in the foreground, you know, uh, if you gotta be critical, critical about that, then don't fucking watch my videos, okay? Just stop. Just pause the video, exit out, and never come, never come to my channel ever again. You'll be doing yourself a big fucking favor if you did not. You'll be doing me a favor if you didn't come to my channel at all. Okay? Just don't come back if you have an issue with me having a painting of The Last Supper on my wall. Okay? I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.